Hello and welcome. This is Pankaj Dubey, and in this session, we are going to learn that what is software testing. Uh, basically, if you talk about software testing, then uh, software testing is a check activity to validate whether the actual result matches with the expected result or not. Basically, software testing is an intentional approach of finding a bug into the given product and establishing a confidence that the given product is bug free is uh, enough bug free that you can release this product or the stakeholders can release this product in market or it can be supplied to the end user. Okay, so what are the common issues that a tester find, finds during the uh, execution during the software testing on a given product? So it is it may be related to field validation issues. What is field validation issue? While filling in a form like registering yourself on any website and you are entering your age 200 years into the age column, then it should be caught through the field validation thing okay so field validation issue uh, we can catch during the software testing thing sites responsiveness under specific load how does your site behave when uh, when in peak hours how does it behave how is the response time so that can be caught payment related issues while making a payment what is the encryption method whether the uh, user is passed uh, to the current payment gateway or not and the other stuffs what are the security issue again when, uh, while you lo uh, log in on the page then how does the website encrypt the user id and password and how does it transmit from the front end to the server so it can be uh, seen under the security issues confusing navigation that means whenever any user is uh, doing anything on a website or uh, on any standalone application then he shouldn't be confused while navigating from one page to another or from one tool to another uh, it should be in a sequence actually inadequate in site search how does your site gives a result to a user when the particular user search for any product and your website how does it handle how does it uh, match with the regular expressions and other steps like wildcard search and all so even this thing you have to see while uh, working or while testing any website verifying store policies and customer support if your website or uh, uh, your uh, site is an e-commerce site in that case well uh, you will have to see that whether if any customer has purchased anything from your site then whether he is able to get the proper customer support from your site or not and it should be clearly visible on the front end of uh, on the front page of your website site standard as per industry norms so what is site standard as per industry norms that means there are some specific standard given for uh, the domains of website like if uh, if you talk about e-commerce thing then there are certain standards in market that you need to follow like there should be customer support number on top there should be contact us details and there should be some other methodologies as well on your website which you will have to make sure that exist in a correct correct st uh, format and it follows a given standard lack of device and browser compatibility you will have to see the compatibility of your product on different different browsers and on different different mobile devices and on different different tabs on everything okay so lack of testing may lead to loss of money loss of time and loss of business reputation okay so these are the common terms these are the basic thing about software testing and uh, let's see that how many testing types are there in market that people use that companies use nowadays okay so if you talk mainly about software testing then most of the people will say that there are two types of software testing black box and white box which is fairly true but if you talk about software testing in depth then there are two different types of software testing is there which is static and dynamic testing first and black box and white box comes later so what is static testing and dynamic testing if you talk about in uh, about static testing in layman language that means executing any test like performing any test without executing the code is called static testing and the code by executing and the testing which is performed by executing the code will be called as dynamic testing okay let's see the difference in depth so static testing is is achieved by review walkthrough and inspection uh, what does it mean how will you review and walk through and inspect basically I said that static testing is something which is performed without executing the code of software and that means you'll have to manually go to the developer or the business analyst who is making the document and you will just ask them to walk through and you will inspect that whether the condition whether all the requirements is matching as per the uh, requirement standard or not so that is how you will be inspecting all the documents created throughout your software development life cycle 
Okay, now let's go to dynamic testing. What is dynamic testing? Dynamic testing is further categorized into the functional testing and non-functional testing. So what is functional testing and what is non-functional testing? Functional testing is something which is which your software must deliver and work in order to deliver this product to the stakeholder. Okay, because this is something, these are the requirements which is given by the user, which is given by the stakeholders. And non-functional testing is something like the, with the behavior of your software. How does it behave in the PCARs? How to, how how it handles the uh, disastrous impact on your website, like recovery testing, and uh, how does it work on different different browsers, like compatibility? How a user interacts with your uh, with their website, like uh, usability testing. So all this will be coming under non-functional and functional testings. Let's go further. So functional testing is again categorized into two parts where white box and black box comes okay this is where white box and black box testing comes because uh, your functional testing is divided into two parts on the coding end and on the behavior end so all the coding front checks will be performed by white box testers so white box testers are generally the developers who perform who code their piece of code so they'll be the one who will be performing their white box testing and the method of performing white box testing is called unit testing Okay, and about black box testing, black box testing is performed by the black box testers. So generally they don't have to deal with the coding in which language your website or the application has been coded, but still they will have, it's, it's good to have a fair idea of the programming language. Okay, and non-functional testing, non-functional testing first thing that comes under the non-functional testing is performance testing. So there are two types of performance testing, load and stress testing. What is load testing? Load testing is something to check that how does your site behave under a specific load. Okay, and stress testing is to check that what is the breakpoint of your uh, website or of your product when by putting the maximum load and checking that what is the breakpoint of your website. Compatibility testing by opening your browser by opening your website into different different browsers and on different different devices You will be checking that how does your site behave and how does uh, it respond? While checking it on different devices and browsers What is security testing again the method of encryption and decryption and transforming the data from one device to the server will be covered under security testing recovery testing recovery testing is something like if uh, your application or website has been crashed okay or it has met with some uh, accidents then how will you recover your data so, okay so this is how you'll be testing uh, recovery testing and usability is something like if a user interacts with their website then what is the best way of interacting the user with your website and there shouldn't be any confusion and the navigation and in the look and feel of your website okay let's go back to white box testing so this is where we started earlier that uh, when I asked that what is software testing then most of the people said that white box and black box so let's see what is white box white box part is unit testing so unit testing is something like checking the piece of code individual piece of code then that how does it behave and the ways of performing unit testing is code statement path and branch coverage and now this is the main part black box testing so the first thing that comes under black, black box testing is integration testing i have marked it in a uh, purple background because uh, the, there is a confusion that most of the companies keep it in uh, black box testing but still there are scope that people use there are some other companies who use integration testing as part of white box testing why because integration testing is something which is performed when two units of code is integrated Okay, so you can see here that white box testing has unit testing. So once the coder tests their uh, piece of code by unit testing, they then this uh, the other method is to integrate those piece of codes into to make a batch to make a bunch. Okay, so at that time we will have to check that whether the whole piece of code after merging works properly or not. So that is how we'll be. This is how this, this is what that we will be testing into in integration testing. Okay, next is smoke testing and sanity testing. What is smoke and what is sanity? Basically, both are a way of checking the critical functionality of your application. Like if any website has been given to the tester, then they'll not start uh, testing all uh, the things on the website. Basically, they'll first perform some critical checks by performing smoke and sanity testing on your website. 
by checking the critical functionalities on on your website so if you talk about any application any website then they'll first see that whether the url has is accessible or not whether they are able to uh, register themselves or login themselves or not whether they are able to make the payments or not so this is how they'll be checking the critical functionalities because on this functionality there are some more functionality which is depending on those okay so first in order to check in order to test full your app uh, full of the application you'll have to first make sure that all the base applications all the base behavior of your web uh, website is working next is functionality testing what is functionality testing where you'll be checking that all the functions which is which was required by the stakeholder has been delivered into your application and it works properly what is regression testing uh, let's say that there is a new build which has uh, come to the uh, application and once the new uh, and new build has some requirements a b c the new build has three requirements requirement a and b and c so in the new build we'll be checking that uh, as part of functionality testing we will be checking only the requirement a b and c and all the existing functionalities of your website will be checked under regression testing okay so next is system testing system testing is checking your whole and sole your application and what is uat uat is performing the user acceptance testing and it has it is of two types alpha testing and beta testing so alpha testing is something which is done in house and beta testing is something which is done by individuals which is not a part of the company. So that's all we'll be talking about in this uh, slide and for the next slide you can watch out my next video. Thank you very much.